If you're looking to scale your design output, then this video is for you. To bring design to the level that's required to succeed in the modern digital world, you're going to need a tight process, amazing tools, and most importantly, a kick-ass team. All of those things come together in perfect unison thanks to Design Ops. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with Design Ops the right way. Oh, you like that? Yeah, I was gonna say get started with Design Ops the easy way, but I think I'll save that for the end. How's that sound? Design is only becoming more in demand, which if you're a designer should actually make you feel good because it means that you should have a job for the next foreseeable future. And if you're part of a marketing team, then you already know how badly you and your team needs design. Think daily graphics for the laundry list of social media platforms you're trying to keep up with. Blog headers, webinar promo materials, presentations for the next big pitch meeting, and so much more. With this intense demand for design comes a bit of a problem. If you don't have the processes, tools, or people in place, it's going to be really hard to keep up without burning your entire design team out. And one of the best ways to avoid this while increasing your design output is to adopt design ops practices. Here's how to do that. Get stakeholders on board. In order to effectively implement design ops, it's vital to first get all stakeholders on board. Implementing design ops starts with a design ops mindset for the entire organization. Once you've demonstrated how a design ops function can help your company achieve its goals, it's important to go slowly and carefully. Start by identifying the need to run your design team more efficiently and how streamlined design processes will support the rest of the team achieve their goals. Identify your needs. Since every organization is different, you need to first identify your specific needs. Are you looking to increase the output of your social media assets, ship new updates for your website faster, or create new fresh ads more frequently? Pick one goal, then start speaking with key people involved in making it happen. This means doing interviews with key stakeholders and the people who will be managing the process and working on these projects. Once you've done that, then you can develop a system. Do you have a project management system? And I'm not talking about just having an Asana or Trello account set up. I mean a documented end-to-end -end process that explains each step of the journey from coming up with new design ideas, to drafting, to giving and receiving feedback, to shipping the project. Oh, and by the way, if you don't already have a standard design brief process, then check out our other video on how to create a proper design brief. Trust me, it'll make everything so much easier. And once you do have a proper briefing and project management system in place, then you can build your team. After identifying your needs and building your systems, then you need to hire somebody who can manage the whole process and the people working within it. You need someone who is willing to jump in and just do everything. And I mean everything. And once you have that person in place, you'll also need to build out your team of kick-ass designers to actually do the work. If you wanna learn more about the different types of designers that you might need to hire, then watch our other video on the 11 types of designers that you need on your team. Once you have your team in place, set them up with your project management and design tools, and then walk them through the system that you created to streamline your process. So just to recap, if you wanna get started with design ops, you're going to need to get key stakeholders on board, identify your needs, develop a system, then build your team. Now, this is obviously a very simplified explanation because there are tons of moving parts and your journey might not be as smooth as this. Not to mention this will likely be a very long and slow process. A lot of teams don't have the time or honestly, the resources to implement this properly. So luckily for you, there is an easy way where you can skip the headaches and jump right into shipping beautiful, beautiful design at scale immediately. If you want a turnkey solution to immediately scale your design output without having to go through the slow and painful process of implementing design ops in-house, then check out Superside. Superside combines easy to use software with a dedicated project manager and top global talent to take on extra design requirements as you scale. We use a subscription-based model for predictable pricing and a design ops platform that allows your team to collaborate together and request custom design with turnaround times in as little as 24 hours. Instead of having to figure out how to build a complicated project management system, hire a project manager, and then go and find all the designers you need to deliver design, we do it all in one simple system that allows you to simply request designs and have it delivered by a fully managed and stacked dedicated design team. We eliminate design bottlenecks to help you and your in-house designers thrive. If you want to see how it works, then head over to superside.com or go to the link in the description to learn more. And if you found this video helpful, then please give it a thumbs up so I can keep my job and subscribe to our channel for more videos on how you can scale your design. Plus, it'll make me very happy.
Thanks for watching.